has, need, we has, need to replace has, that um, other logo you have on the other hoodie can, you can, wear. Yeah, well, just because I have my yeah my ESL one, which I wear. Ah, I wasn't gonna say it. I, I wasn't gonna call it. them out. We're all friends. <clears throat> Why can't we all be friends? I don't know. I'm friends with everybody. Ask North America that they're friends with no one. Their CS community is very. Why the UK? You're from Canada. That's true. And now, technically, you're Europe. I know. He's I'm he's, so mo- he's moving in full so time. Euro. Everyone, make a Reddit thread, make HL TV a dog for it. Yeah, he's confirmed. gonna be living full time here in Europe. It's going to happen. Until they realize they have no visa and deport me. Just kidding. Canada's loved by everyone. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Like you can get your visa. Yeah. You don't even need a visa to go into Ukraine. Yet for some yeah. reason, Australia is hated. Yeah. You were outcasts from the UK originally. We should get to the game. Let's get to the game. So we got map one yeah, out of the way. We should talk about the game. It was Inferno. That was Fnatic's pick. And actually, I would have thought Fnatic should have won that. Obviously, we saw they came out sleeping. They didn't have respect in their buys toward flip side. They didn't take them seriously. At least it seemed and uh, cost themselves dearly at the start. That said, great performances by people like World Edit. Markaloth actually had one of the better games I've seen from him more recently. He's not really Markaloth of old, but he doesn't need to be on this he team. Was, he needs to bring experience and support. He was allowed to play his role, he, and his role was still just that, that filter, the crossfire work. That's all it really comes down to. You're not going to have the most brilliant scoreline. You're not going to go, oh my, yeah, World Edit scoreline. Like, you're not going to have that in the position he's in. All he's required to do is find one, Two frags, if he possibly can, and stop the push. Exactly. That's and, and, job. Right, and he's become more of a support role on this team. Obviously, he's not opping anymore. But now we're going on to Mirage, which is Flipside's pick. And traditionally speaking on Mirage, it's their T-side that carries them through. We saw that 12-3 huge comeback T-side just two weeks ago. And I wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, if they, get, if they can get seven rounds to me CT-side... There's going to be a chance. Oh, production team just trolling us. <laughs> we went the opposite direction that time around. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if, if they can get even six to seven around CT side, I think they've given them, they'll give themselves a chance, especially where we don't have Crims. Crims is your connector player. I still think, Fnatic, this is their series to lose. I won't say it's their yeah. series to win anymore. They're going to have to play for it, obviously, but it is very much their series to lose. And, and without Crims at Connector, that does give a little bit more option or opportunity toward mid. We'll see how they incorporate Schneider if they want to go ahead and put him directly into so, Crims' position. So or I still if they didn't want feel like bring... Schneider played poorly in the He didn't stand one. out to me either, though. He didn't do anything that made me go, all right, this is, this is working for them. Because you would have gotten one or two of those plays from Crims on Inferno. You naturally just would expect for, Crims for to a, have... For a stand-in, being regular, being consistent is all you really for, require. Right, but, but again, if you had Crims at B on Inferno, for example, yeah. you're going to have one or two rounds right. of just absolute spectacular play. No, That's a, just the a, way a stand he works. In, a stand-in is never going to work better than the, than the original five. So the question is, though, do they, do they put Schneider directly onto the connector as a result of that, or do they bring someone like Flusha over to watch the connector? Do they let Olaf try and play it, or do they leave Olaf in his typical role... I mean, it's it's a tough call. It really is a I, tough call to, I would to almost, how you want to drop him in. I would almost just want to throw uh, Schneider over towards the B truck and get him to watch the apartments. And, well, see, that's, that, that's the most simplest role that you th can It run is on the this. simplest role, but it also is an efficiency role as well because it's kind of like what we saw with Michu going in for snacks in that position. If he just plays it stagnantly, he has to get an entry kill. He has to immediately find it, whereas someone like Snacks is not only going to do that, but he's going to push the apartments after, you know, 30 to 40 seconds and get that information for his team. That's very, very vital to how they play their A defense as a response to that. So it, it is, I mean, I think that is probably a role that I would consider putting him in. Maybe even just put him on catwalk and get him to support JW as needed. Mm -hmm. Um... It's also going to be interesting to see if JW plays window and tries to block those smokes because I know teams like TSM have exploited that for him for doing that. So yeah. I, I, I think that Fnatic has gone a little sort of downward on this map. They're still obviously quite good at it, but this this could be interesting to see if Flipside give them a full run. I mean, they, they potentially could do so. Speaking of smokes, I don't know if you're uh, looking over towards the CSGO Reddit over the last 24, 48 hours. But there was one of the smokes which we were watching NIP The one-way smoke? Yeah, the, the, one, the one-way smoke which you can do from the CT stash. Actually, we saw Get Right do it with the auto sniper. Yeah, that uh, was the true. Ace, he act, not, not I, only I, did I, he have an auto sniper, but he was... I think I think that I was one way. Well, it was the one-way smoke? I think smoke? it was one way. I, I'm, I'd have to go back and look at the play, but I'm pretty sure that was the one-way smoke. Mm. I know Alu did it at least like three or four times on their CT half, but it's, it's one of those crazy positions as well which the T's have to be a little bit more mindful of. Uh, I don't know if, if you just want to try and, well, smoke that exact position or if you just start throwing nades, flashes, or grenades, whatever else, you, whatever you've got 
to clean out that spot. But the whole breach into A is a very set plan. Like, you watch Virtus Pro execute that one. I think, for me, they're one of the most spectacular teams to do that kind of execution into A. Wait, did they just get some early chip damage? I thought I heard a, uh, an A do Oh, uh, did we get a points. team kill? No, we didn't. Okay, I thought Simple took down one of his teammates, but he did not. So, Pronax did team damage. That's all I saw. So, right yep. now, knife round looks like it's going to go the way of flip side. Which means they get CTs. That's right, and they didn't get CT on Inferno. Again, Flusher. it was their T side that got them those seven, <laughs> make it nine rounds in the end, but that 7-0 run they had. I almost feel like Flipside's a team that would benefit from starting on the T side. Just the way they play, it gives them that motivation, it gives them that confidence because they are so T oriented that they get hyped up and then they carry that momentum over to CT. Whereas now starting CT, they aren't normally as proficient, they don't normally collect as many rounds, and they tend to get down on themselves as a result. So they're kind of a weird team in that regard. It's kind of like Nip said in certain maps, they wanted to start out on the T side just to get it out of the way, get those AK picks and take advantage of it. Yeah. Because you, you feel like you know function as a better squad, and in fact, with Fnatic with the stand-in, running on the T side might be a better thing. Because again, you just you just say to Schneider, sit with our main core group, become that support AK player, and we just find our openings. So we get underway. This is our uh, first round of map number two, Flipside versus Fnatic. With Flipside, the one map advantage. Uh, they've already taken out Inferno against Fnatic. And the push, where is she going to come? It looks like we're uh, a little bit split up. Olaf, very aggressively moving up through Underpass, wants to check into Connector, where Blade has in fact moved. Markolov is your man watching that B site, his normal position. So Flush has made this call for Olaf. He'll take the one-on-one, -on -one. Oh, that's, that's a win. Big. And now he'll join the A take, so they're going to rush into A as soon as he's in position. They're not going in straight away, though, because Simple, Simple is watching him from Cat. Which means that's not the easy opening. And what are it banging out? Okay, well, there goes Bondic. The, op, the, the, the numbers are just working the way of Fnatic. Down to two players. Olaf even doing his jump. Give this guy an early tech nine, and they mop it up. Not a single player lost for, for Fnatic on this first half, on this first round. Yeah, they, all they wanted to do was get Flusha back into position so they could go in with the numbers. But great read, you're always going to see a player from Fnatic heading toward that underpass in the pistol round because they want to get up close and personal. They want to take advantage of the pistol's power in that uh -huh. position. I, I just love the fact that, like, Olaf is the man that got the, bu the bunch of kills, and he holds onto his money. He spends all of everything he's got on nades as well as his armor. Well, look but for an still relies on it. He just relies on his tech nine. Yeah, off, yeah he's, he's going to go to that. But it's just the confidence you have that you can use the Tech-9 in such a position. Oh, no reason not to have a nice shot, Flusha. That's simple down already. Yep. Flusha's been playing more to form today. They're trying to play the bait game. Get a couple of picks on flip side in the mid. Then it opens up the advantage onto... Uh, okay, well, there goes your connector as well. It opens up the advantage onto one of the sides, and then you just push in. Well, there's uh, a little bit of a pick off from JW. Markalov will still hold the B. But this means that A is open. Olaf is running back. He initially started running that bomb up through the apartments area while Flush are making some noise through Cat. He'll pick up one. He doesn't want to get the kill straight away because I think they still want to get the money from Olaf. But Bondic has just left alone on B. Two flashes. Well, there it goes. Uh, Olaf, he's not going to get there in time. He's trying. But I don't hear the sound. So, no, uh, so no extra, no extra money, but there's still oh, two rounds. I was going to say up. gold, expecting you were going to go for it. I will. I'm not going to do it, man. I even know that the, the the PGL bloody boys made emotions that have gold on it. And it's like, yeah, thanks, boys. So good. The only time a gold can be said is if we find a very short player that looks like a leprechaun. And he's just a good luck charm or if for we the just team. Just see a rainbow, which we may see with all these nades heading over top of our. Oh, look Skyline, at the mid. but look at the mid presence. Oh, Already flip side walk out. Easy, Schneider. easy mop up. There's Schneider. There's some confidence for him, and he knows he's got one more. And it's not so simple for simple as Four he comes up. Four for, for Schneider. So flip side trying to turn their backs and flash out through mid, but Schneider being already so far onto the other side of the box is unaffected. Gets a lot of initial hits in with, with the Galil, and it's just pretty easy after that point. Three rounds to Fnatic. But Flipside have weapons this time. They do, and this is my point. They need to get into this early because, like I said, yeah, they chose to start CT still. It is the easy side, quote-unquote. But this is where, as a team, they might, if they don't start getting rounds, get down on themselves to a point where they may not be able to string any confidence together on the T side, and that's where they're going to need it. 
So Markalov puts out an early smoke. That delays Olaf, but whoa, what a nade. Directly in the crosshair. Goes off, and he's down to 49. He'll spam away as a result. Ooh, and he actually Good takes damage. the better of the damage. Down to 20 for Olaf as he falls back. Yeah, Olaf has to get out of here. They've already managed to take Connective Fnatic. They haven't fully taken it because the smoke is still covering the CT stairs, but look at World Edit. He's moving over to B. This is leaving a massive hole on A where Bondic is sitting on, well, basically near Shadow. While Blade... He's the man holding from jungle, but there's only two defenders here. JW still wants to have a bit of a look over to B. Get some level of information here. But a Pronax has a bit of a peek. Okay, now he's getting shot at. He realized a couple of players. Bondic moving up very quickly. Flusher and Bondic. This is going to be where you get your, your initiation. Or maybe not. JW, one, two! Blade and Simple get snapped back. And they're about to take out Bondic as well. At least World Edit will get some revenge here to JW. But that reveals his position. And the plan's already going down on A. And there, in fact, goes World Edit. They can protect that AWP into the hands of Pronax. And they've got double AWPs in for Fnatic too. Markalov, the last man left alive. And all he wants to do is hold on to this M4. What's that money? Oh, okay. Yeah. Flip side. <laughs> they've, they've been robbed. But on the bright side for them, it is still the fourth round in a row they're going to lose. So the bonus money, it's going to give them something to play with. But I don't think it's Doesn't, enough to buy. Yeah, and, and it's it's not as effective on the CT side either. It doesn't let you buy it all the way. So Markalov will get one. That gives away his position. Pronax is the next to run in with he him. But he's only to. got 25. He shouldn't take that peak and he won't. So that's four now for Fnatic. Flip side back to a save. But I said, I, me I remember I said seven rounds would be enough for them to... <laughs> Make a statement against Fnatic on the T side. They've got to start clawing them in soon. Mm. Well, this is still going to be another pistol and hold on to the M4 round, so not the easiest for the Flipside to win. Just get a couple of trades. The other all. thing to mention, too, by the way, is Flipside's only found three kills this entire matchup so far, and we're on we're on round number five right now. Uh, this position is from Flusher. Throws out the Molotov. He'll find Simple. Simple was looking for that attack into underpass. Doesn't get it, however. Well, Edda will be able to get it, though. That's Pronex dropping. It's the P350 attacking from uh, from below. Flush up. There's a hole in the window. He didn't see the player, though. That's uh, World Edit sitting inside the smoke. But JW's taken B site. <laughs> there's, there's no one over on B site. So JW, Flush is moving in. Blade will start to rotate back as World Edit. I think he's asking for help to get in through short. But JW is watching it like a hawk, and here comes your plant. They've already managed to pick up an AK as well as an M4. So I don't know if uh, Flipside really want to fully commit to, to trying to retake this site. It looks like they're going to. World Edit and Blade are moving in. And Flasha almost pu pulls off the World Edit. Puts a little bit of damage toward Olaf Meister. Olaf, nice catch on Blade, though. They're trying to get away, and unfortunately, Blade overstayed his welcome just too much. But Bondix up close. If Olaf's not careful, there he is, down and out. And that's an op. That's so, so valuable at this point. So that's a small victory, and now we're going to see guns back out. And with that op in hand, we'll see if they can get anything going toward middle. Keep an eye on spawn, see who's closer to that window. One off, one AK. That oh, was actually, the salvage. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's actually Bondic that's up close to it, but they'll throw it to World Edit. He's got the closest spawn to A, so expect this op to go backside A or into connector well, they're, they're to pick running mid. Two. They're running two with Simple as well. They both have terrible spawns to get to mid, though. So Simple's going to take the long way there. World Edit's going to head straight to A, and yeah, he's actually leading off toward connector already. Yeah, so Simple will play it from Cat. So they're going to do this pinch play with the ops. Well, Olaf's looking for that pick from... Uh well, there's Simple's first one. JW to drop. Only one AWP remaining now for Fnatic. They won't want to give up these AKs. Primarily because the push is coming over to the B site. The CT defense is pretty tight. Olof's still waiting for just that, that rando frag he can grab. He's not really finding the angle. He's almost found one on Boondick. And now, peek up, misses the shot. Has to back out of there. Took, got tagged up a little bit. Simple through the smoke on a Pronax. And World Edit has brought in his AWP. There goes Olaf. This is a horrible round for Fnatic. And should be the first win for Flipside here. 
Unless Schneider as well as Flusher can pull something absolutely amazing out. They've still got a lot of money for the next round. So we'll have full buys for round number seven. That's just how much can Fnatic cost him? Not much. Well, then it. They really have to stop him from getting this orb. He is just gold with that. I think he's actually quadrupled his kills. And actually, Simple just killed him, went straight through him, and took out one of his teammates as well. I was, so I was, I was, just I was very confused by that, too. I was like, wait a minute, he's got the winning kill, but I'm seeing in the obituary. So he just shot through the enemy. They finally get a win, but I, just kidding. World Edit, you're down now. Uh, hashtag worth it. Oh, definitely worth it. They take the round, so that's their first. That's 5-1. That resets money, and World Edit has to rebuy an op. That's the unfortunate part about this. So he's mm. down to 350, where the rest of his teammates have four digits worth of economy. That's actually really critical. That's so critical on them. The nade tagging Erlof, Markolov. Well, he doesn't op now, but he's got a lot of experience going up and playing with the op, so he knows what he's up against. In the apartments, now Fnatic. Push out World Edit. Very exposed in the mid. Was down in front of the window. Markolov. Oh, he's so close to Olaf. Olaf gets tag on one. Waiting for Markolov to jump, and he gets a second! That's big! That means B site. It doesn't fully belong. Blaze still over in the kitchen, cooking himself up a meal. But the bomb is on the other side of the map. Pronax has to leg it to pick the it up. The other issue, yeah, right there. Bondic oh, not only left. low. Oh, right, I should say. My yeah, other left. It, it, not only was Bonding extremely low, but JW knew exactly that he was pushed up in A, so he just held it from the connector, and that was just easy work. Great round this from is that Olaf. Shot. This is that shot. Yeah, that's, that's not last round. That was the round before. So unfortunately, World Edit down and out. Say goodnight, my friend. It's a cruel, cruel world. Simple's going to buy out another op, and they're going to go with pistols to support this, and that's all they're going to work with. So he needs to find these picks. He's going to go directly toward window, and that's the place to be because they're all coming around, but oh, Tag. already lagged up, and they know he's dropped. This is an easy kill for Flusha. That's, again, the second time that Simple has tried to go across that window with the AWP and ends up dropping down and getting killed off at the same time. Flashbang, trying to clean out Cat. A line for the crossover, but it's a good crossfire coming out from Flipside. They're trying to keep Windows Smoke, but it's connected where the problem is. Flush is still waiting for this opening, while uh, JW managed to push up through apartments and uh, well edit. Well, put the head down, look for the opening, and he's got it. JW pushes through the secondary op now into his hand, and it's all up to Blade, who's sitting in connector, and Flusher is waiting for him to come out. He knows he's there because Blade was spamming out most of two clips. And now the walk, Flusher. Okay, failed. But Blade on 21 uh, HP, he's backing up with that AK. Save and protect. And Fnatic's looking a lot more normal now. 7-1. Or so it should be. Are they trying to flank him? I'd love to come up through mid, JW to watch the door, and Pronox to go all the way around. So Olaf, yeah, they want him dead. Oh, they'll get him. They should easily get him here. Olaf's already going to spot him right there. Done. Yeah. So, I mean... Okay. It, it, he has an AWP, so... No, I'm going to use a CZ from range. Yeah, why not? Show not, off. E not even a Tech-9. Such a show-off. So they're going to go double AWP this time, T-side. JW and Olaf are going to pick those up. Yeah, they're the ones they saved from the last round. And this is my point with flip side. I said 7 would make it workable. 6? Okay, sure, I'll give them a good day on T side maybe they will but anything less and I don't think it's going to be nearly enough JW. to go against Fnatic. be really careful there's a guy right to his to the side yeah, but he's down below so he had, oh, oh he, he was up back down. Yeah, he, he, did. he was up he was right next to him when the when the shots came out and now Schneider he's up to get the revenge frag into world edit this is really the first time the Fnatic have committed to pushing up. Oh, <laughs> JW. <laughs> oh, this guy. He should be a salsa dancer. He's using that hip perfectly. And look at Markolov on the oh, run. Oh, he's gone. Uh, he gets tagged, though. So. Uh, that grenade's a weird, weird one. <laughs> Looking for the, for the attacks. And, uh, well, he gets one. Can take out the second. Quite heavily tagged onto JW, in fact. He's trying to come in to take out the AWP. It was bait. It was a trap. And they're trying to save the second AWP, which they weren't incapable of doing. 
So there's only that one AWP which is given over to Olaf for this round, but he's got 11k. Boom, what a no-scope. Good awareness, knew the player was there. You were right, actually, he was up above when that smoke first came out. I thought he just went up to smoke it and drop back down, so he got lucky that he didn't get pushed from that angle. And he makes good on the opportunity that was given to him as a result. So they get into side A site very easily. And right now, Flipside's got no answer to them. They're going to go with 3 and A this time. Simple's going to run to Catwalk. Markalov back toward B. But look what this Flusher. does. It leaves that connector wide open. And Flush is just going to walk up. Easy kill on a world edit. And Bondic, who tried to push forward today and get information, realizes that they're behind him now. So he's got to rotate back around. And Schneider's on one side. Flusher on the other. Blade's hiding in the site. Schneider needs to look. He needs to give some information there. He sees one at Tetris, brings down Bondic, gets vision onto the last one back at CT stairs, takes him out. So the A site belongs currently to Fnatic. The bomb is back at spawn. And Markalov is making a lot of noise. So they, get, they know where he is. Olaf is like an inch away from him. But there's a wall between the two of them. And Schneider, there you go. There's the run back for the bomb. He's the newbie. He's got to carry the water for Fnatic. What am I? While Olaf and Flusher, I don't know if they really want to hunt for Markalov. Especially Olaf, but they Markalov's on 15 HP and he's got an AWP in his hand. Yeah, so it, killing it, him off is worth it. Yeah, and I mean, they've got reasonable money. They'll be able to buy next round regardless, oh, but it's him. not like Fnatic, act Olaf. Fnatic actually has... Yeah, he was right above him, actually. Yeah, get off at he the was so time. close. He was but so it's, close. It's not like they've got a ton of money either, considering Where you they've by? got the 8-1 lead. I look and see him. Oh, he can't. No! What are you doing? Does he shoot? Does he shoot? He's I think he's going to wait the time. He knows where one is. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't <laughs> want to give up this op. So this is really calculated play because he knows if he takes that shot, the other two players left on the map swarm him. So he's just going to walk on past and CT's hold on to the gun. Ninja. At the same time, though, as I was saying, Olaf only has... Well, okay, I take it back. After the round, he has 8,200. He only had 52. You force him to buy, that keeps him low. That's one more round that he basically wouldn't be able to buy if... Flip side, and that's a big if right now because they're not showing much at all. But if they could finally get some kills working their way, uh, this is starting to remind me of that Dignitas versus Flipside game on Inferno. It's actually starting to remind me of our last game we saw in reverse. <laughs> so double up this time, though. Simple World Edit both going to be holding on to them. We'll see if they can make anything work of it. We saw Simple use one and B last time to good effect, and this time he actually is going to go to Cat. I thought he was last time. He didn't. The blade's already down, so this is a man out. And that's your strat caller, so he's going to have to sit and watch and try and read them from afar. But Bondic's going to get one. That's Snyder. Huge kill because they are working on to A. But unfortunately, World Edit can't find anything from jungle side. They don't even smoke that off. Fnatic is just taking the fights one on one. They don't care about execution. JW doesn't care who's in front of him. He's going to kill everyone. Hey, just, just walk up, find anyone. Well, kill everyone until he re reaches simple. Markalov. Who's managed to move all the way back? He's the last man standing, and Olaf covering his teammate. The plant goes down, and Fnatic. They'll have to deal with Flipside buying now, as there is a large amount of money coming their way. 6.5k sitting on World Edit. And what are they going to do about it? Because they can't do a full buy here. They're going to do it on World Edit, though. So uh, Flipside, they force out in a couple. Famuses. I'm looking at the mag train as well. Where's that initial peak? Flusher. The funny thing, he's, he's been getting the pickoffs. Okay, he just saw one a connector. Revealed the fact. Smoke. Covering that movement. Up on top of that little... Uh, uh, up into the window. And Olaf already found the first frag. So Bondic's down. Where's that flash? Oh, Flusher. Flusher, if this works. He takes the damage. Water is going to step him back with the AWP. But Olaf's managed to bounce himself over. Taking out his third scalp for the round. And he still knows there's another one coming in through Connector. There's your number four. Will they deny him? Will they deny him the ace? Markalov is the last man left alive, moving through Cat. And Olaf is on the wrong side of the map. <laughs> the interesting thing is that while the all of these kills were happening, yeah, no one ever went back for the bomb. It was actually <laughs> Pronax's job, and he got into a fight one-on-one -on -one with Markalov that he was headstrong to win, ended up losing it. That left the bomb way over toward B. Obviously, they're looking good in the round. Still 2-on-1 and a lot of HP on both players versus 19 from Arkalov, but this bomb could have been down 20 seconds ago. Look how slow um, Olof is walking as well. He knows Markalov is the normal B player, and it seems like Schneider is going to finish the job, so Ace denied, but still, he got himself a flush. 
Good kills coming around. Reminds me of Shazam's mom's spaghetti round as he jumped across and took down Cloud9. What? You'll get to, I'll show you the reference later. It was actually Lex that started it. I was the one that said it, but it was Lex that actually came up with that. I, I'm so. just trying to imagine what situation that would cause. Like, was he sitting there listening to Eminem and not actually having sound on? I think we or recited it. Did he actually... Okay, okay what, you recited Mom's Spaghetti? Yeah. All right, cool. Nice That's shot, though. J-Dub already <laughs> into World Edit. And look at, again, Fnatic. Not even any smokes out to cover off the choke points. They're just walking in and winning the fights. It would almost be worth this... it for Flipside to smoke themselves off just to say, hey, come in and get us and we'll, we'll play up close because they are not winning the range game right now. 12-1 is just utterly ridiculous. You were talking about it before uh, with the whole... Um, Fnatic not giving respect to Flipside, getting the whole bunch of buyers out. And this this is kind of the reason where your ego can get massively inflated. Where you're just like, we need, we don't need no utility things to purchase. Maybe you do when World Edits up to get that first pick. It doesn't go down, however. But it gives you the confidence just to run in there. Don't expend too much. Save your money. Oh, simple. Yeah, you're getting some crisp air up there. Running the tight walk, and now Blade also into the underpass. So Fnatic next time, maybe they're gonna try and coordinate themselves a little bit more, but this should be the second round for Flipside. Schneider as well as Pronax, they're two split up. Pronax is by himself up against three, practically four players on the B side. By Schneider, he just has to bring down Bondic and open up the A. So Smoke to walk out. Bondic's looking for him. And uh, in fact, World Air is gonna rotate over and bring down Schneider. So Pronax, I think his only job well, does he even have to save the AK? No, they got so no, much they, money. They, he doesn't no have to point. save the it's AK. It's round 14. They're buying in 15 regardless. There's no yep. point. And Flipside's got full weapon, so he doesn't have to worry about the weapon being thrown over. So Flipside finally looking like they're going to get a round here. I, uh, I would say, hands down, they should. But let's not get carried away because the way they've been playing... Hasn't exactly been organized Counter-Strike. And there it is. Pronax already with one. He's still taking this one-on-one -on -one with Markalov. He's got 25 seconds. Oh, good awareness catching Simple as well. Finally, some more shots oh, in, but he turns oh! that blade. And if he gets Markle off, no, this is suddenly doable. No. Only three HP. No. Bond, it gets him in the end. That could have been utterly just insult to injury. Ridiculous indeed. So flip side get two before the half. They had a monumental comeback from a 12-3 scoreline on CT before, but that was not against a team like Fnatic. So this one's a little too far out of reach, in my opinion. If Pronax was able to claim that, he would have had more luck than the guy who's going to win our raffle later on tonight. Make sure you sub to the channel. Take away. K47 Cartel. Stat Track Factory new. Poop! That's what it is. All right, so. CT cover again. Uh, uh, see, uh, connector. World Edit and Blade are up there. Markalov's already opened up the account with JW drop and simple. Controlling up Catwalk. He is going to get dropped, not before he's done significant damage to Fnatic. And this should be the third round. Well, that's already rotated over. Using that AWP, the wonderful effect. And that will be 12 to 3. A lot more organized in the last two rounds. Really quick to find their kills. And in fact, it was Fnatic going B that gave them a chance in terms of flip side. So their A needs work. Their A needs a lot of work. They, Like I said, Fnatic weren't even smoking them off. They were just taking the fights. Yep. And flip side were... Stubborn, I, it, it, I won't it, say it, stupid, but they, they just kept walking out to take those one-on-ones. How many times did mm. JW get a double kill walking up from A stairs? At the same time, they were always so low on money. They never really felt like they had a proper buy around. And when they did, that's when they got picked off. I, th I feel like the only thing that gave them mass amounts of confidence is when you saw World Edit get those opening frags. That's the only time it really happened. They committed a hell of a lot to mid, World Edit gets the picks, and all of a sudden... Flipside's just like, sweet, I think we've got ourselves on this round. Yeah, things went wrong after that point, but it's all about that early momentum. And Flipside need it more than ever. Can they get this first round on T's? The defense is up. You're going to get your answer as well for where Schneider goes. He's holding hands with Olaf. Back up on Cat. He's fast enough for it. That was Flusher battling up against World Edit. While JW sitting in window, Simple's going to break himself through. He didn't see him. So JW gets the first frag. He's going to get done by the side. That's World Edit coming in from up in ladder. That's Olaf. He hears the plant. Goes for that nade. Considerable damage down to 28 HP onto Blade. As he gets another nade onto him. Olaf makes it a 4v3. And World these T's, where are they? Where so Markov is going to... Okay, Markov can hold jungle. 
That's the critical hold. Bondic, Bondic as well, fucking hide. Palace. They're bouncing up to him, however. With Bondic down, this just became really awkward. He needed to stay alive. It is still a two-on-one based on World Edit getting Pronax. That's a big oh. kill as well, but now there's still Bond's a bit exposed. of a chance. There's no no kit, though. No kit. Markolov just has to stay put. He doesn't, but Olaf's still not no going to go for it. Yeah, there you go. It's down. Bondic made that a bit awkward. If he just stayed alive in Palace, he had the position to just wait it out. It came down to the fact Markolov still could in the end, but that could have been done a lot. More gracefully, I guess would be the word for it. Nonetheless, doesn't matter. Flipside gets the round. Now they've got the start. And I said this map to them all is T-side. It always has been T-side. I still don't think they gave themselves a chance. We'll see if they can rebound again. I talked about how mentality, if they didn't get a good start, if they got down on themselves on the defensive side, they might not be able to pick themselves up when they get onto their strong side. See if they can do it. Man, I would be very concerned right now if I was, uh, uh, if I was Flipside about the next round. Not this one, just the next one. JW might get a couple of picks here and there, but it's the fact that in that first pistol round, it was Olaf that got the forfeit. So he's got a lot of money sitting in his bank account, and he's going to be looking for that early AWP. If he can get another couple of frags in this round, it's going to feel really, really happy. And he's already got the CZ for that. JW going to miss the tag. Okay, now he does hit it. That's World Edit again. The Flusher comes in to finish the job. And flip side, they're not finding this opening. Now, maybe in close combat with Schneider, they can finally open up the A site. But look where Olaf is. He almost ran himself to T-spawn. And JW is going to find Simple and Blade. Battling from up in the window. And backing the hell out. As he's realizing the push is coming over to the B. So JW trying to get in a position where he can watch uh, at least up into the apartments. Goes for the jump shot, number one. Second shot, can't get it. This is the most powerful position for that gun because you can jump peak, only your head exposed and get that shot so quickly. And oh. it's so linear, but look at Pronax. There's one for him. Blade finally so gets costly. 20 turns. Oh, he's got this Galil up close and Flush it's only off. the pistols, but Flusha peeks out brilliantly. He's just got to worry about Bondic, but Bondic wants to come around this corner. Flush is going to dance friends. with him and it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Bondic can't do it because... Olaf Meister's collected that AK-47 and already wow. flip side get ecoed. There goes all their chances. Wow, that's, uh, they really fell over themselves trying to get through the apartments. And now Fnatic, you look at these weapons coming up for them. They're not going to go for the AWP just yet. In fact, they just leave it with the, with the AKs, the M4s. Make sure they've got nice rifle spread because they don't need the AWP. Because they're up against Pistol. So Schneider brings down World Edit in the mid. And if, if Fnatic can just hold their nerve on this, then they'll be looking. In fact, they have held their nerve. Only Bondic, the last man remaining, up in apartments. I think it's just been scouted out by Pronax as well. They're having a bit of a jump battle. There's the need from Pronax looking for some kind of advantage. There goes your pistols. And he's getting banged through the wall. All right, wow. Okay, cool, cool. Reload. Get the hell out of there. There we go. So 14 to 4. Flipside were forced into the eco. They got just over 3k on each of the players, just shy of 4k on some of them as well. And they're going to do themselves a force by four Galils coming up. And what a simple one. It's an AK. So, really, Flipside, they need this to really work for them. They oh, have a I chance because Fnatic, the F Fnatic uh, they don't have their full weapons. Like, they're still using a Famus as well as the submachine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we don't even need to make a comment on that. It's so redundant. Everyone watching knows that this round is it. Nice Nate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love the way the body oh. goes. <sighs> and look at this. He drops down. Oh! What was World Edit doing? He played so well last game, but a little oh. bit of sleep there as he drops behind him, gets the kill, turns around, takes him as well. And Flasha will close out Markolov. So one to go. Watch this nade. Uh, watch, first off, watch the ragdoll. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. But this is this uh, is the next part of this if we stay with it. Oh, it's a late night. Uh, it's angle. so curious to me. Right over through the smoke, World Edit's behind him, takes down Simple, and then World Edit goes, wait a minute, there's someone behind me. <laughs> Man, Olaf giving nerds gasm since 2014. Uh, I would say he's been doing it since long before that. Yeah, he just he came has. to prominence with Fnatic in 2014. Mm -hmm. And look, Blade catches Olaf, so that's interesting that he got that deep into the site unsighted. And Schneider's going to try and work his way back up from that connector, but the bomb's already down, so Flipside have something to work with here. Yeah, they're trying to force the CTs out of positions by throwing these mollies down. 
JW does have to get off the stairs, as I think we've just uh, frozen for a moment. I believe in the comeback. Another nade going very, very deep. Not too much of a tag, however, and Fnatic struggling on the retake. Now JW opens it up. Where's that extra support? Looking around the corner. One drop down to Tire Tetris. <laughs> One HP as well. That's all Schneider is living on. But they haven't got that bomb yet. But they have managed to get through at least a couple of them. Markalov keeping the bomb He's clear. Go for it. Look at this. They're I sacrificing themselves. Well, they know they're dead. They can't get away from the bomb site. So JW holds the AWP. Schneider holds the M4. The unfortunate part of this is, is that, yeah, two guns get saved. And Flipside doesn't have a whole lot of money. So, again, it's a really tight buy for them. Again, at this point, obviously, yeah, I know Love's gonna we're reading too deep into it considering it's one round. They're going to do everything they can. But let's just say they get some momentum. Let's say things start going really well for them. They've just given that little bit more money to make it even harder if they get something they're in this round. They're coming A. It's a full committal into A. They're prepping themselves for the smokes right now. And even Bondek, how defensive are you being? You're throwing flashes and still walking quite heavily into, te into uh, Palace. And Schneider's on the flank. Look at him go. Walking past the TV. He wants to come from behind. Olaf as well as JW. Olaf's already claimed one. Oh, Bondek got flashed out when he tried to answer that right. and went on to Olaf. But great smokes to execute them Flush on the up. way in. But Flush they can't find up. anything else because Flush has got two. Pronax with one as well. And Olaf just standing at the top of the GG. ladder on balcony. Stood still the whole time based on the fact that that flash covered him off. I mean, what can you say? Flip side. That was, I, I said that there was, that was their map. They won Fnatic's map. Now they lose their own. Mm -hmm. Again, CT for them looked horrible on this map, and it has time and time again. It's always been their T side that carries them here. Man, I, uh, for me, like Fnatic work up. Oh, 100%. They, they, they work up. They were winning all their shots. Fl uh, they're, they're taking all their shots. They were getting all their shots over the top of Flipside, and Flipside had no answer. No, I, and it was the complete opposite to what we saw in Inferno, because Inferno, yep. it was clearly Flipside winning the gun battles. World yep. Edit but the, destroyed I, everyone. I, I think Flipside played that really, really nicely, that one Inferno, because they played with patience and they played with the gut advantage. In this map, they never really had the gun advantage, and playing with patience on something like Mirage is really difficult because it's all about moving from one side to the other, gaining that early advantage. Like you, you, if you're going to defend your A side, push yourself up, get yourself yeah. into shadow, control the stairwell, control the connector. And that's connector. sort of where the meta right now is a little bit different because there's teams that actually don't do that at all. There's teams that play it with a 2-1-2 setup, which Flipside never really settled into too much. They tried to go with it. They, mm -hmm. they alternated with simple either playing on the backside of B, looking into the apartments, or getting out to cat. But usually what happens is you have one cat, one connector, one window. You fight for that early mid. You'll see a Fnatic do it. You'll see Envious do it. They'll pop out almost yep. all three people, peek, get the shots, and then fall back to the site. What that does is it leaves no one to go up forward in A because your other player's back towards CT stairs. If you're going to play that shadow position, one of two things happens. One is you either leave connector wide open, you will live, give them underpass to push up and get close to you, or your window player goes into that connector and plays it, and then you only have a two mid. So it's a bit of a shift in the meta from how things used to be on Mirage, and that is the debate. Is You, you look at Which teams that with... Well, well, it's not only that. It's You look at teams and how they execute. You have to know your opponent. If they're a very strong, smoke-oriented team at A, you need to have someone inside those smokes and up towards Shadow. If they're not that reliant on smokes and more on shots, well, then you can play that 2-1-2 two, two, and try and get that guy from Jungle to peek back out toward Palace. So... It's just the way things shift. You've got to read your opponent in that sense. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how they read each other. Cash is coming up next. So where fortune favors, we know that mid-aggressive position could really uh, come up with some good rewards if you can take it, if you can control the boost box. Either way, we're going to find out who will be our team. Oh, we're oh, not we're going to a break yet. To to break. What I, are we I, doing I now? think I know the reason why. It's because we haven't looked at the raffle yet. Oh, are we doing that right that, now? I, I'm seeing it right. But we're not doing that now. I think we're doing it. Oh, okay. I, 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 as after tonight's final, we always run our raffles at the end of the night for those dedicated yeah, people that actually survive through the evening. So if you haven't done it yet, sign yourself up. Subscribe to the Twitch channel for PGL. $2.50 of your $5 subscription will go the prize pool as well. I miss looking well. this way and seeing Kern. No, you're just... Am I not enough for you, am I? No. You... Well, fine. I'm just kidding. You're fine. Fine. Let's look. Can, can we not get over? So break? not only I need to walk away from not this only guy. the fact that uh, you will have a chance to win the Stat Track AK47 Cartel, you also contribute to the prize pool, which yes. is uh, awesome. We still have those 
goals in mind. So if we hit the goals, we'll get one on one. We're, we're, we're a long way off. So we're we, a long we, way we, off. We do need some people to make a whole bunch of fake accounts and then just subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I want to see one on ones. And then imagine what it's going to be like. You've I want to see five million fake Heaton. accounts. And then, you, and then you just put yourself into the raffle for every single one of them. And you win all the skins, just, you probably just win all Just have like 50, 50 windows open and then just pff, raffle. And like your chances just massively Just write a increased. script. Just have the script for the bots to go ahead and... Perfect. Boom, done. Perfect. Ways to win. Just have inventive names though. Like having... Bruce, that sounds more legal Bruce than won. ways Bruce. certain North oh, Americans it's, it's try to win legal. skins. It's perfectly legal. It's just buying extra lottery tickets. Exactly. That's what it is. So we'll see you after the break. Map number three. Fanatic finally looking awake.